By the way, shading is done on top of all the decorations. Make them closer to center. Okay, maybe a little smaller. So that you can hide the toolbar, for example, and still have the access to the menu from here. You can even remove the body as well. I will save the skin as 1176 white. The easiest way is to click on this little F icon. Hey guys, Ilya here. In the previous video I've shown you how to change colors, body background, add gradient, shading, etc. I want to also mention that all these colors and shadings don't use any external images, they are all generated inside your skin on the fly. Today I'll show you how to use external images to put some decorations on top of your plugin. You can go to decorations using this small icon or just clicking decorations here and you select any of the layers, click on any image here, they are all empty right now and you select the image. Okay, let me try this one. The image is automatically copied to your skin decorations folder and you see it here you should enable this layer if you want to stretch this image to the size of your body you can choose mode stretch and here it is now you should probably change the toolbar make it black maybe status bar as well you can also add other tiny small svgs in the default decorations folder there are some screws Okay, here's the screw, you can put it to the left corner, enable the layer to see it. You can copy this screw to other cells, you can either click here and copy image or just on Windows you can right click here and paste this image, put this one to the top right, here it is, paste it once again, put this one bottom. There a bit huge so you can choose image scaling now I'm changing image scaling only for one screw this is not very convenient we can click on the group on the layer body 2 by the way we can rename it to screws and change image scaling of the whole group you see they all change become a little smaller now we can add some padding to the group and they all get closer to the center maybe they are too small let's increase image scaling a bit okay this looks good you can save groups of images that you like for future use for example here are some groups that i have saved so you can easily load some of them for example handles if our body is bigger we can see them better so these are the handles and etc you can use up to four layers for the body each of them can have up to 10 images you can edit individual images place them where you want them adjust their padding of set their size their mold scaling etc you can also do the same for the group and you can click here just to unselect all groups that don't have images are collapsed so that they don't take extra space you can disable all decorations at once just to compare you can also preview them on this theme preview if you enable this option usually it is not very convenient and by default it is disabled let me show you another example let's say we are working on 1176 I have a skin here, so let's make our body size. By the way, shading is done on top of all the decorations, so maybe you want to turn the shading off. Let's remove the status bar. Let me quickly add some controls to it. Very simple, just four knobs, and everything else is PNG background. Let me add some more images. Let's go to decorations. Here are the rack holes. We can make them slightly bigger. Maybe move them a bit closer to the center. And let's add some screws. 
copy it, we change the scaling for the group. Make them closer to center. Okay, maybe a little smaller. If you save them as a theme, you can load them quickly later. Like this. Next time, you just load it this way. As I told you, when you select image outside of your Letimix skin folder, it is automatically copied into your skin decorations folder. I think it's time to show you the skin structure. The easiest way is to open skin folder this way. This is the skin file itself, and this is the folder where all the basic files are located. This is the controls folder where all the knobs, switches, meters, buttons are located. This is the decorations folder where all the extra images that you add as decorations, they are all copied into this folder and there are some default images in there. This is the folder where all the editor windows, the skin settings, the skin scanner, the export window, etc. They are all here. This is the folder where additional fonts are located. I'll show you how to add new fonts. This is the folder where the auto layouts are placed, the graphics layout, this is it. There's also the text layout, which looks like this. By the way, when you click on these little icons, you can see more parameters and here as well. So if you open up everything, it will be a long list. So let's continue with the skin folders. This is the license folder with the GPL license. And if you add your own license here, it will also be placed in this folder. This is the scripts folder where different scripts and script for rendering are placed and themes that you can load from the themes menu here. And these are the main files that are used by the skin. This is the core file, the only file that is required to include for the skin to work. It also includes the scripts inside. And these are the files for the head, for the body and for the tail. Let me show you how they are included in the main skin. This is the layout itself. It is very simple. It includes the status bar, the body, the toolbar. And the good news are that you can delete all of these includes and add your own body, add your own toolbar, etc. There will be no errors. It is totally fine to do your own parts of skin from scratch. These are the includes for the editors, for the skin scanner, settings, global preferences, export window, about window, etc. They are not required for your skin to work. You can bypass them easily and the skin will, by the way, reload much faster. But you will not see them in the menu. For some development purposes, you can disable them as well. And when your plugin is exported, they are not copied. These are the includes for the knobs, groups of the default skin, so that you can use the default controls with this skin as well. And these are the includes for the controls that I have added for the Letimix skin. There are some new knobs, some new sliders, etc. You can also not include any of these files, it's totally fine. Then you can see the settings that are saved within the skin. These are the settings for the light sources, for the decorations, for the status bar, meters, body, toolbar, and for the fonts. This is the only include that is required, the common file in the skin folder. When you save the theme, this part of the skin is saved. You can just copy and paste it if you like to share your theme. Please take a look. These are the themes, for example blue white theme is just a collection of these skin settings just to show you an example how flexible this skin is let me remove everything from this skin and try to make it as clean and as short as possible we will even remove the toolbar and the status bar 
we can remove the body as well but we will not see anything at all then so we'll keep the body for the moment but before we remove the toolbar we need to make sure that we can reload the skin later so i'll go to skin settings click here on general settings and choose right click action open menu lm it opens a special kind of menu so that you can hide the toolbar for example and still have the access to the menu from here okay let's try to remove everything from this skin file let's remove skin settings so it should use the default settings let's remove all the includes for the controls let's remove all the includes for the settings window let's remove the toolbar the status bar so we are left only with the body and with the main include that is required we can remove the body as well but let's leave it for now let's save and reload the skin okay the skin works perfectly fine with default settings it shows only the body and the body shows the meters you can even remove the body as well let's just leave some text here we can right click reload skin so this is the simplest you can get the only include and you can start your own skin from scratch or just remove any part of the skin you don't like there will be no errors just use what you really need so let's get back to where we were this is great this means that this skin can be easily modified by the way when the skin is exported only the required files are copied let's take a look this is the skin folder of the exported plugin these are the required files only some scripts only the used layout and few controls are copied so that your skin can be very light for example this folder is only about 400 kilobytes because the skin file is so small and basically contains mostly the settings you can make as many skins as you wish i will save the skin as 11 76 white and for the delay plugin i will use this green skin i will save the skin as i have a couple more new skins here right click and select the skin for this delay now i will save this as a preset presets save as for the compressor i will select this skin the skin is saved with the preset so when i later choose the preset it will load both the script that i'm working on and the skin it's using here in the letimix folder you have the fonts folder these are some freeware fonts that are included with the skin this is the list of fonts that is present on both windows and mac by default and these are some more additional fonts that you can add to your fonts folder let's try this finland font i copy the font here but i yet don't see it in this list for it to appear i have to add it to the skin the easiest way is to click on this little f icon here rescan fonts it saves and reloads the skin and now this skin has this finland rounded thin font so you get the idea by the way this font is added into this skin i was using here into the load fonts you see the new font is added to load the skin automatically extracts the font family name so that you can not care about this just add the font to the folder and click on this rescan fonts button this is how easy it is to try new fonts 